live. We have arrived one more time. Hallelujah. Poker toe. Let's get it in, y'all. Conference muted. Conference recording started. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Yahuda Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Mann, on the early What I See Through Script Study and Prayer Live on this ninth day in March uh, 2020. Let's get ready to dive in the word, y'all. Uh, let's go to Psalms 119 this morning. Raya, Raya, good to see you. Felicia. Uh, Miss Baka. Felicia, good to see you on. Al Mal G. Uh, Big Mark Cam. Mm -hmm. Shalom, shalom. Psalms 119, y'all. Quick prayer this morning. <clears throat> Spirit of the Most High, we love you. Thank you for this opportunity to exalt you even again. For you, the exalted King, continue to send relevant relevant words that we may grow thereby. That we may uh, undergo the transformation process, becoming more and more like you. Walk in circumstance before you in these last evil days. In Yahushua's name we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Occult Don Themes in the building. Faithful young lady. Hallelujah. Psalms 119. Beginning at the ninth verse. Look what it says. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? How many of y'all know the answer to that? With what? With what shall a man, shall a young man cleanse his way? What, what will cause a young man to, to cleanse, cleanse his way? The scripture answered it. By taking heed thereto according to thy word. How, how will a man cleanse his way? By, by, by taking heed according to, to thy word. With my whole heart have I sought thee. Oh, let me not wander from thy commandments. <clears throat> thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Um, how many want to uh, cleanse your ways? You gotta want to cleanse your ways. Good to see you on, Ken. But you gotta want to cleanse your way. How many of y'all want to cleanse your ways? Or are you pretty comfortable with yourself? How many of y'all look in the mirror and say, I'm not a bad guy, or I'm not a bad gal. I'm not that bad. I'm better than, than I might not be the best, but I'm better than the whole lot. How many of y'all beat your own chest, toot your own horn? Because if, cause if you're comfortable with yourself, then he really can't help you. He really can't help you. Yeah, Ken, we started at 9, though. 119 and 9. <clears throat> where, where, wherewithal shall a, a young man cleanse his way? What, 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 what would a person use to cleanse their ways? Big Sean, you with us. Good. Rhonda, good to see you all. What, what, what does it take? It, it don't have to be a young man, y'all. The scripture says young man, but listen, look, look, look. What, what do a person use to cleanse their ways? I'm going to tell you right now, it's the word. It's having faith in the word. It's trusting what the Most High say. And it's not a healthy mixture of what you say, including what he say. 
you know, folks be thinking a little dab of do you, a little bit of ya, a little bit of Confucius, a little bit of, you know, grandma, what she said, a little bit of me. No. No, it don't work like that. Hopefully what grandma said came directly from him. And you understand that it came from him because you read it yourself. If, if you want to... If you want to change your ways, if you want to be reunited with the Creator, it's through His Word. If you want to be delivered from the wickedness of, of, of people, namely yourself, it's through the Word. Good to see you all, Charvé. <clears throat> Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? What would a person use to straighten their life out? To be delivered from their own personal wickedness. People call it your own demons. What does it take? Well, how, how, how do one accomplish changing? Because that's what this is talking about. How can I change? How can I change from what I shouldn't be? Thinking and living the way I shouldn't. To thinking and living the way I should. How? By taking heed thereto according to thy word. By considering his word on a high-tech level. By meditating in the word. By, by meditating. Come on, y'all. Teresa, good to see you on this morning. How am I going to change? How am I going to stop cussing and holding grudges? How? Being selfish. I'm going to stop doing that. How? Shalom, battle. How? By taking heed thereon, uh, thereto according to thy word. According to what? Taking heed, but according to what? His word, y'all. It's through the word. Um... <clears throat> In John 14 and 6, when it say, when the Messiah said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life, no man come unto the Father but by me. If you have the revelation that the Messiah was the Word in a body, if, if you have that revelation, the way is the Word. The way to the Father is the Word. The way to the Father is the truth. Truth of the Word. Eternal life is having fellowship with the Word. That's why in, in, in John 6, 63, he said, uh, the words that I speak are you are truth, and they are life. That's your eternal life, the Word. He's the way, the Word is the way, the truth, and the life. No man come to the Father but by by me. Because he was the Word. He put his flesh in proper perspective. That was his humanity piece. He was 100% humanity and 100% Word. 100% Yah. And he denied his humanity for the Word. Like we got to deny our humanity for the Word. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his ways? How can a person, how can we, young or old, male or female, how can we cleanse our ways? How can we live right, change, walk out, come out of the darkness? How? By taking heed thereto according to thy word. The word tells one what to do. Period. It's the word. Look at the 10th verse, y'all. It says, With my whole heart have I sought thee. It gets deep because I know, like again, in, in order for me to continue to teach and help people, you, you you got to learn how to examine yourself. 
and, and you don't want to be the type of person that examine yourself according to a curve, you know. You you judge yourself according to a handicap. You got to be honest with yourself. The only way you can serve the Most High is if you searching, if 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 you're searching, if you're seeking Him out with your whole heart. Your whole heart got to be in it. That's why again the word said you got to love Him with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. You got to be all in because when a person is isn't all in, they double minded, and a double minded man or woman. Is unstable in all their ways. You're unstable. You, you're not dependable. You can't be faithful to him unless your whole heart is in it. Some people whole heart is in drinking. So they might try to quit, but they can't because their whole heart is in it. They're dedicated, they're committed to it. Some people whole heart is in their man or their woman. And if the word come against their man or their woman, then they're going to get rid of the word, not they man or woman. With my whole heart have I sought thee. That's the only way. We're still answering how can a person cleanse their ways. Well, the first step is to take heed to the word. On what level? With your whole heart. When the word comes, you, you got to buy into the word 100% in order for, for, for your ways to, to be cleansed. For people can see you and say, oh, you're not who you used to be. You're changed. You're different now. On some old, like, a, you know, being born again. You're different. With, with, with my whole heart have I sought thee. Not barely. With your whole heart. And it's going to pay dividends. You, you want to cleanse your way? You, can you look in the mirror of the word and admit you, you're a sinner? You've been living wrong. You've been doing you. Can you admit that? Now, after admitting that, do you want to cleanse your ways? Do you want to change? Do you want to go through the mind renewal process? Is that your goal? To change, to be transformed by the renewing of your mind? Romans, the 12th chapter. Is that what you want? Then you're going to have to take heed to the word. And you're going to have to involve the 10th verse as well and with your whole heart. <laughs> Not lip service. Not I want to lose weight and then, and then, and then that evening you eating the cake. <laughs> you probably wanted to lose weight for a second. Probably still do even while you're eating the cake. But you, you don't want to lose weight with your whole heart. Because when your whole heart is in it, 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 it produces action. It produces action. With my with my whole heart. Look, do you look, he not playing. He said, I'm after the most high with my whole heart. How many of us can say we're after him with our whole heart? Or are we partially? Because when a person is after the most high with their whole heart, they're willing to neglect their their old heart. They'll give up their old heart. And give that old heart to 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 the most high, which will cause their heart to be a new heart. But you got to be in it with your whole heart. With my whole heart have I sought thee. That's why I can fast. Because my heart is in it. I can't fast if my heart ain't in it. Can't do it. Can't forgive. Mm -mm. My whole heart ain't in it. How, how can I change from holding a grudge? You hurt me real bad. How can I change? By uh, 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 by taking heed to the word with my whole entire heart. When, when, when the best array, the gospel, when it comes, it's the word. And what we're supposed to do is submit to it. We, we surrender up under the power of the word. And that word comes through your life and will just cleanse you. Wash away any stronghold, any high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of Yah. It'll just snatch it down, bringing every thought into the obedience of the word. 
The power in the word can transform a human being into the image of its creator. But you got to be in it with your whole heart. You got to be in it with your whole heart. If you ain't all the way in, remember the scripture, a little leaven leaveth the whole lump. I put a yip or a little yeast inside of the dough. It's a wrap. It's gonna leaven. It's gonna leaven the dough. Make some dough and put some yeast in it. It's gonna go through the whole entire dough, not just a little piece. That's it. It's now leavened bread. A little leaven leavened the whole lump. A little leaven is sprinkled it in there. You got to be into the Most High with your whole heart in order for the gospel to work. See. <clears throat> In order for the gospel word, you got to be all the way in, and and, and and the transformation process from getting religious people into the the real thing, because it looks just alike. See, we got a, we got a lot of people that confess with their mouth, without, and they believe in their heart that he died on the cross for their sin, but they don't really understand that. Um, you got to surrender, not just believe head knowledge. You got to surrender like I'm giving my life to you. Okay, well, then you, you, your boyfriend got to go. And those that surrender say, okay, your girlfriend got to go. Those that surrender say, okay, those that have it won't. They're going to take the illegal back door of, I'm just a sinner saved by grace. I ain't giving up my weed. <laughs> I'm not giving up my alcohol. I'm not giving up my, my lust. Uh -uh. I didn't sign up for that. So, it's, it, it, so, so get a person that didn't give up their girlfriend, their boyfriend, or their dope for the most high. Give them 20 years in the church and they become a deacon. But they never gave up surrender sin. Never surrendered to the word. To the point of walking away from sin. And then try to tell them now do it. It's difficult because they already think they got salvation. They already got Jesus. The new one. They already got him. The new one. Not the original, not the real one, not the word. They don't have that. Those have the form of it. The form of it, you still can finish screwing and cussing. Finish lying, finish saying them songs, though, but finish lying and cussing. This is talking about how do a person cleanse their ways, not just go to church. How you cleanse your ways? How, how do you switch from just being a religious person to being one with a true relation with the Most High? How? What? 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 How do a person cleanse their way? Can a person cleanse their ways? Is that possible? Yeah. By taking heed to the Word. And if you take heed to the word, you got to do it with your whole heart. Period. And if you're not doing it with your whole heart, it ain't done. Look what else the scripture say. We're still in 10, y'all. This computer is giving me the business, but I'm still going to keep teaching y'all. Don't even worry about it. Oh, let me not wander from thy commandments. Did y'all hear that? Listen. The necessity to want to cleanse your ways and to cleanse your ways, you need the word. You need the word with your whole heart. Because if you don't have your whole heart in it, you will wander from what he's telling you to do. You up and down, you iffy. You're not solid. Here we go again. 
a double-minded man is unstable in all his way. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. Good to see you on, Trent. <coughs> nice talking to you last night, young lady. Psalms 119. Now we on the 10th verse. See, you gotta, if you're gonna cleanse your way, if you're gonna be transformed by the renewing of your mind, you if you if you're gonna walk this earth in the image of your creator, you gotta take heed to the word. You gotta have a healthy reading life. You gotta listen to the word. And then you gotta be reading and listen to the word with the state of mind to do it. And you got to be doing it according to the 10th verse with your whole heart. And then that's what will prevent you from wandering from what the word tells you to do. Sometimes we obey him and then we walk away. And then we come back and we obey him and then we walk away. And then we come back. You got to do it with your whole heart. Oh, let me not wander from thy commandments. Desire to get closer to him, but you can't. Got a desire. You know how helpless that is? Hopeless that is? To have a desire to keep his commandments. And can't. Ain't. Because, because you, have to, you have to operate in self-denial. And some people is entrapped by their flesh. Please don't be that person. That you're stuck. You couldn't get out that illegal relationship if you wanted to because you're, you're stuck. That is your Elohim. Your man is your Elohim. Your woman is your Elohim. You're a slave to your lust, your desire for them. And you can't break it. You, the lust for drugs. The lust for wanting to do what you want to do. The freedom to come and go as you please. Some people's addicted to their flesh. That's why your whole heart, the only escape from you is you got to give your whole heart to Yah. You give your whole heart to Yah, he'll release you from you. He'll give you power over yourself. He'll give you power over your cravings and your evil nature. He'll snap. It's the, it's the, it's the, it's the, it's the anointing that destroys the yoke. The anointing of the word, the power that's in the word, destroys the body. Yoke is bondage, y'all. Yoke is that thing they put on them animals' neck. The yoke of iron is what they put on the Hebrew slaves' neck. When they shipped us into slavery, put us in slavery, we had a yoke. There's spiritual yokes that people have. I can't, I can't put them cigarettes down. Can't give up that dope. Can't give up that woman, that man. Can't give, can't give it up. And that stuff will stop you from keeping the commandments of the Most High. You'll keep it for a little while. That's why I say, wander from thy commandments. This individual is one that has the commandments and they're refusing to wander away because there's a whole lot of wanderers. That obey him for a little while. Spurts. They do little spurts. They roll with him for about a month, a couple of weeks, then they gone again. They understood the necessity of not forsaking the assembling. Then all of a sudden they start forsaking the assembling. They don't they don't get together. But you let them tell, Oh, I'm still with him. How <laughs> how the only way you can still be with him is if you still Keeping his commandments. Do what he say. Do you know what he say? With my whole heart have a salty. Look what's his desire. Oh, let me not wander from thy commandments. I, I don't I don't want to leave you. I don't I don't want to. I don't want to start the transformation process and then meet some gal, some 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 guy, and then leave you. Find a real good weed spot, it's over. Half price. I don't want to find the happy hour menu. Half off. 
I get long eyelids. Have all? Yeah, I can do this. Man, you miss it. Her skirt was a little too short. Now you miss it. With her little sexy self. Got to have your whole heart in this. Then the 11th verse kicks in and says, Thy word have I hid in my heart. Your heart is in your mind. There is a part of your mind that's you that's your memory. The, the heart part of your mind is what you're gonna do. You can have a memory, you can have the knowledge, the information, but that don't mean you're gonna apply the knowledge or the information. You gotta get it to the part of your heart. The part of your mind that's your heart. The intimate part. Thy word if I hear it in my heart. Goes deeper than memorizing scripture. It's life application of the scripture. I'm going to do it. And scripture will reveal your evil nature. Scripture will reveal your evil nature. Don't want to do it. There's a part of you. That don't want to obey the word. That's your evil nature, your carnal nature. You got to use the word to cut that nature down in order to put, in order to obey the word. So you got to, you got to, you got to understand that. How can I cleanse my ways? By grabbing the word with the state of mind to take heed to it. I got the state of mind that when I'm studying the word, hearing the word, learning the word, I plan to do it. And I plan to do it with my whole heart. With all of my desire. With the state of mind, I don't want to leave it. I don't, I don't want, I don't want to walk away from it. I want to do it until he come get me. I want to be faithful to him. I'm not going to meet that man. I'm not going to meet that woman. I'm not going to meet that situation that's going to pull me away from him. Cursed is that situation. I ain't messing with it. Care how fine you is. Care how sexy you is. Care how much money you got. Care nothing about as good as the, the weed is or the liquor. Top shelf liquor. I, nothing. Nothing. Care how that drug make me feel. Nothing to no one. Care how wrong you did me. You ain't worth me going to hell, turning my back on the most high for. I'm not holding a grudge against you like that. You don't have power over me. Only the word do. Because I'm seeking the word with my whole heart. That I don't wander away from the word. I don't want to wander away from what he's telling me to do. Thy word have I hid in my heart. It's in my heart. Deeper than just being in my memory. <laughs> it's even deeper just than just coming out of my mouth. I want it in my heart and in my mouth. <laughs> and in my heart that I might not sin against thee. That I might not because I can. I still can see it, y'all. Mm -hmm. I can go pull me one behind my wife's back. I sure can. I can go get, I can, I can go and click off now and go get drunk if I want to. I refuse to. Because thy word, if I hear it in my heart, that I might not sin against thee. I can't get to toot my horn like I won't sin against thee. But I'm not going to because I refuse to. The capability is there. But I, but I decided I don't want to wander away from the word. I'm not going to keep y'all this morning. Just wanted to give you a word of encouragement. 
posed the question according to Scripture and then answered the question according to Scripture. Because the Scripture is what asks the question. And it's the Scripture that answered the question. Whoever thaw shall a man, a young man, cleanse his ways. That was the question. You know the word says, what I say on the one, I say on the all. <laughs> so if a young man can use it to cleanse his ways, so can the young woman. Throw in the old man and the old woman and we're getting somewhere. By taking heed thereon to there too according to that word taking heed according not to my imagination how I feel not my wisdom by taking heed according to thy word and I'm going to approach the word with my whole heart I'm going to give I'm going to get a word to pop the, the power the, the power of my change is in the word but I'm going to submit to the word thereby releasing the power not to wander away from the word, which is his commandments. I'm not talking about the Ten Commandments. He had commands before the, the, the commands put on stone. I'm talking about the spirit, the command, prior and post putting it on stone. Get rid of the stone and just take the commandment, which is his word. What he say do. And what he say not do. I'm going to take what he say do. And what he say not do. I'm going to hide it. In my heart. Because mm -hmm. I have no intentions on sinning. Against my creator. I did that. Been there. Done that. Went there. Came back. I have no desire to be without him ever again in my life. I refuse to be religious. <laughs> I want a relationship. Let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you. How much we know how I'm gleaning in your, in your word, in your presence. We're not scared of the devil nor his tactics. We're going to continue to speak up for you. You are shield and our buckler. buckler. You're, you've already dispatched your angel protection. The box is keeping us safe, so we trust in you. We're going hard in the paint, hiding uh, 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 thy, 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 thy word in the heart. So we, That's why we ain't going to sin against you. It's not that we can't. We decided we ain't through the power of your word. Continue to cleanse us. Continue to send us through the transformation process that we might become more and more like you until we see your face in peace. We even celebrate the victory. In the matchless name, Yahushua, I'm going to see us when I'm pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That was the sermonette for this morning. We pray that the word found you and unbound you if you was bound. And that the word continues to come plain. I try to use plainness of speech, life application, so we can get it and run thereby. Is that all right? Um, if you are blessed by the word, feel free to push the share button. Share it with your, your family and your friends if it's true, that they might uh, be blessed. Hallelujah as well. Um, thank anyone that supports the ministry because it helps me do what I do. It helps me be able to spend time in the Word and uh, teaching um, constantly. And so, good to see you on, um, uh, Uncle, Uncle Harry. Good to see you on. Rhodes is in the house too. What was that? I can't even see. Let me see. What did that say? I, I want to see y'all. Let me see. Ariel. Okay. I wanted to be able to read it. 
Robles. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, thank you all for chiming in. Um, again, if there's anyone else that'd like to be a supporter of this ministry because you're learning, you're learning, and uh, you're growing, and so I'm going to give you opportunity to support the ministry as well according to how the Most High leads you. But if you have the cash app, all you got to do is put in of the dollar sign Yahoo to Israel. That's Y A H U D A H Y I S R A E L. You also can support the ministry through the Facebook page. Yeah, go on Messenger, and there's a giving apparatus in there. But mainly, y'all hide the word in your heart. Get it out of your head, just quote scriptures. Um, Cursed is the man that confirmeth not all the words of this law to do them. And all the people shall say, Amen. Um, Y'all want to talk about the word? Yeah, I'm, I'm down with that. All you got to do is dial 302-202-1102, extension 815-648. Again, 302-202-1102, extension 815-648. Um, Y'all chime in. We can talk about the word. Continue to pray for me. I pray for you. We plan to be back on tonight. Um, at uh, at uh, at uh, seven, y'all. At seven, I plan to teach a full lesson tonight. So if y'all available, seven uh, Pacific Standard Time, feel free to chime on in, and we'll hang out and get in the word. Is that all right? Y'all continue to pray for me as I pray for you. Y'all be Baruch. Rock Shalom. I'm gone.